Hello everyone, this is Big Al Hoppin' Vlogs. My opinions must have been spot on yesterday because nobody commented on them at all. Hello everyone, welcome to vlog number 107, which is part two of a five-part series of the Robert Kinsel Casey Neistat interview. That took place about 14 days ago, which Casey and I stat uploaded on Monday. Yesterday's vlog was a bit on the negative side. It went along with controversies. Casey asked a lot of really good questions about the controversies in the recent past and uh, how YouTube is dealing with them. If you haven't watched my vlog yesterday, uh, right after this video, there will be a card at the end of this video to go to that vlog and check that out. Before I get started, I just want to say if you're coming across my channel for the first time and you enjoy my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it helps me out a lot. I want to reach out to as many people as I possibly can. I would not do this series if I didn't think it was relevant to the YouTube platform and its creators and also its viewers. So since yesterday's video was kind of negative, I think today's going to be a little more positive. I'm going to get into a different section of the interview here. The second section of the interview deals with creators and create incentives and things like that. Well, with all that being said, let's get into part two here. Set the timer at 10 minutes, and we'll count up to 10 minutes. We'll do a 10-minute no-cut starting now. All right, so the section of the interview that I'm going to be talking about today, which is the next section that came up in it, was basically about YouTube culture, uh, dealing with the drama, and things like that. Uh, the qu next question was, uh, as far as culture and drama on YouTube, in the last year, uh, it's been the source of, it's been what YouTube, uh, what, what's been happening on YouTube. Uh, and what do you, what is, uh, and he was asking Robert what he thought of uh, the drama being rewarded with views. And uh, his answer was um, that, that uh, YouTube needs to create incentives. Uh, on how to create, in, uh, has, has to do with creating incentives to make sure that creators do the right thing. Uh, do the right things for the advertisers and for the viewers. And, uh, and YouTube in general. Uh, just every just YouTube themselves and the viewers and the advertisers and not to necessarily chase views because um, if the creators don't succeed YouTube doesn't succeed as well because uh, they make their money through the creators of course um, and uh, they just don't want everybody to, uh, they just don't want the creators to play games they want them to do the right thing so um, and they also are working on uh, creating creating more standards basically is what he said and I totally agree with that um, uh, see the, the, this section of the thing was pretty positive to me and uh, I totally agree with this is kind of what I was talking about on yesterday's uh, video um, uh, of uh, doing the right thing and uh, knowing what's wrong stuff like that um, but yeah I, it's uh, I mean these advertisers are doing this uh, to make to make money to promote their own product uh they don't want the uh they don't want these creators um making their product look bad i mean you got to look at it through their through their through their eyes that's that's what i'm getting out of this you have to look at uh it through the advertisers eyes are they going to want to um put their advertisers against somebody that's doing questionable things are they uh going to want to put their products against somebody that's uh, cursing um, um, you know just basically doing the wrong things on the platform is what some you know it, are the advertisers going to want to advertise something and make it look like something that they do not desire to have it look like that that's the problem here um, and I really do commend uh, YouTube they got a big job going through all this stuff there are millions of creators obviously there's just tons of people out there and uh and i think uh that's that's why they that that was their main reason for implementing this um 1000 subscriber 4000 views uh 4000 view hours um it does it does hurt uh it does hurt the good people out there that do not have that kind of a fan base yet but you can blame that on the people that do not 
that, that do not adhere to standards. They just uh, put it up and, and hope that YouTube will sort it out. And, and instead of sorting it out themselves before they put it up and make sure that it follows community guidelines. Uh, that, that's the problem I got. That's my uh, opinion on that. And, uh, and uh, it doesn't seem to me that YouTube is uh, playing games. It's an awesome platform to put your stuff on. Um, I just think that you got some bad eggs. Uh, you got you get a few bad eggs uh, that are trying to, you know, they're trying to mess up mess up the platform, and that's why I think they decided to uh, do that. So, anyways, the next question was, uh, what kind of creators would uh, YouTube like to see more of on the platform? And uh, and uh, Robert Kintel's answer to that was <clears throat> that they want to do a, that YouTube wants an extra push on um, news related stuff and uh, educational stuff. Uh, but uh, but he definitely wants to like like with uh, subjects that um, that uh, maybe the creator is uh, is uh, shown. Uh, their parents or, uh, or or the people that they look up to, how to argue their point uh, against, uh, well, just uh, uh, he, they want to get away from uh, children learning how to argue against parents. I kind of got into this yesterday. I'm just going to finish reading the thing and then I'll t do my uh, uh, opinion on the issue. Uh, children learning how to argue against parents and they also, YouTube and as a whole, would like to see more women creators. I guess they don't feel that they have enough women creators. It's, it's uh, more dominant uh, male creators. And uh, so there's a big opportunity out there for ladies that uh, might want to get on YouTube. I think that uh, YouTube, if you're a female, YouTube's going YouTube's gonna to push your stuff more because they want to see more women creators succeed. Uh, they don't feel that enough women creators are succeeding. So if you're a female and you're going to be, and you want to make videos and you like doing videos, uh, by all means, get yourself out there and do it. Uh, I mean, it sounds like it's a win-win. Uh, I mean, you, you got a certain niche and uh, and you uh, and you uh, upload consistently. You're going to do as well as you as as well as. Uh, you're gonna do as well as you're able to do because YouTube's gonna help you out. And uh, I mean, when it, when it comes to the children arguing uh, with their parents, it's basically about um, uh, maybe something like uh, I guess he what he talked about was um, I guess just a subject that he talked about was uh, about veganism and his daughter uh, working uh, wanting to be a vegan, and the creator was uh, basically. Uh, telling them how they can argue their point to uh to uh make their parents um want to do it i guess uh you know being a vegan is a hard thing you, you there's only uh, certain things that you eat of course uh i'm not shooting down veganism by any means uh but but uh you gotta get away from uh these kids watching stuff that uh shows them uh, especially these young kids now, you know, 10 years old, 12 years old, watching stuff that uh, that's just not kosher, uh, it, and, and uh, learning how to argue and uh, and going against your parents or the the people that you look up to, basically. Uh, that's what I got out of that one. And uh, the next question is: uh, since YouTube executives are not past creators, how do you empathize? with the creators when you're not one yourself and his answer was uh he never really talked about anybody else on the youtube in youtube uh he pretty much talked about himself uh which i understand he doesn't want to answer for anybody else but uh he said uh robert kinsel said that he worked at a talent agency uh, and uh then a financing company and then he worked with hbo netflix and youtube so he said he was uh, into a lot of uh he was into a lot of content in the past, anyway, and uh, and uh, and he says that he's very passionate about the platform, and uh, and I, I 
I totally, uh, I mean, uh, for somebody, uh, it, it's a really, really hard question for him to answer unless he decides to go out there and try to be a creator. Then he, then he could really, really see how difficult it is to be a creator. Um, it is very difficult. I mean, you've got to constantly come up with new ideas. You've got to come up, uh, come up with something that people are going to be interested in. And you also got to be yourself doing it. That, those are the three hardest things. I don't know if uh, somebody that's never done it would uh, actually know about that uh, end of the spectrum. But uh, yeah, you're constantly, constantly things going through your mind all the time. Okay, what can I do? What can I do that's interesting? What can I do that'll hit, you know? And uh, even though you're not doing it for money, you still want people to watch your stuff. That That's a thing that, uh, that uh, YouTube themselves are not going to uh, understand. They're not gonna understand um, that uh, I mean YouTube wants you to succeed they're gonna be they want you to succeed unbelievably I mean they make their money from you so they want you to succeed but I think if they went out there and did their uh, did their thing then they would uh, if they went out there and did their own creating for a while then maybe they'd understand a little more uh, what the struggles are from uh, from our perspective. <laughs> Anyways, we're running out of time now. Uh, make sure you share your passion, everyone, and uh, tune in tomorrow night for part three.